Hey there, everyone. This is Cow playing a banjo tui, and uh, today, right, we are starting with mambo things. And then we are going to do things from the mumbo things, I guess. I don't know. Enemies just kind of pop up in your face. It happens. Uh, welcome to a beautiful day. Right, because, yeah, because we went into the blue door, and instead of a happy little mumbo, we got a disgruntled, angry robot. Is there not a flight pad here? So the flight pad is only at the blue mumbo house. I think that's in no, no, it's just over here out of view. Got it. So yeah, there is a flight pad at both of them. I mean, I figured, you know, I don't know. I figured. So yeah, this guy, don't trust the smile. And yeah, that's how you can tell if you're in the real mumbo or robot mumbo. So every time you get here, you get the whistling. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I wish you could destroy uh, Minjo permanently. Just so you stop getting the whistling and the call for help. Like, it just feels weird when you get all the Jinjo in a place, and yet that's a sound effect that can still be heard. And here it's gonna be every time you get here for this sweet... Well, okay, the scene only happens the once, but... What if I need to retransform again to Mumbo? It's not gonna... This is a one-and-done type of Mumbo-ness. We saw levels with several pads. This is not one of them. And here, in fact, I feel it's an acknowledgement that Mambo is a little a bit awkward in terms of the old controller. Because, yeah, they make us go up that one thing, that one, like, place. I'm gonna do some, like, platforming and stuff. Like, can he even get back up from here? I think, like, like this is why there's these tiny steps now that I think about it. Probably. I don't know, but... Uh, check it out, you're dead. You? Yeah, that's right. You're gonna walk right into my taser. What an idiot. That is pretty stupid. Like, you should probably avoid doing that in real life. How do I proceed, though? Because, yeah, I need to go up to... Okay, so I just basically... I need to find places where it is physically possible to go. Meanwhile, I'm getting extremely distracted by the entire universe. Yeah, like, they really do just pop up. Okay, so you go all the way around here to have access to here. That guy pops out of nowhere, hits me twice. It's pretty good. Does not give me more health. Pretty rude. You? Will you give me health? No? Very nice of you, man. Because, yeah, because our goal is to go over there, and to do that, I had to do all these shenanigans. Because he couldn't do that jump. All right, so that gets us access to this ramp. Now we can go up. I'm going to zap him and cook him from the inside out. That's pretty much what happens. Uh, Mumbo, as an attack, microwaves his enemies <laughs> using his wand. Alright, then you just kind of walk again, because you know, this is the same thick platform. It's pretty small. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of uncomfortable. Like, do enemies just give their health the one time? Because I know enemies respawn all the time in this game, but... I think you'd give their health also back. But that has not been my experience. Oh no, there's a bee. What are we gonna do about that? I don't know. What are we gonna do about Ignore it? Because that's what I'm doing right now. Here we go! Magic time! Hope this works. It'd be pretty funny if it didn't. Brain dance. I guess that's character design appropriate. For better or for worse. And it is raining. Water falling from the lack of clouds above us. Hey, check it out! It's a sweet rainbow that leads to the pot of gold. Uh, well, that's appropriate. That's what we were missing. And also, that's right, the eggs we laid, their seeds, uh, making big old plants grow. So we put two of those around the place. Uh, I need to find those again. <laughs> to get to those where those places are. And there you go. And we got a big old rainbow bridge. We got two vines. Uh, Mr. Mumbo, the key master. Ah, oh, he can swim. Can't dive though. 
Yeah, I'm trying to dive and it ain't doing. Honestly, I probably should have jumped down a hole because now everyone would have been full of health. I made a mistake. I'm going to admit it. Okay, so it's the green door that leads to that pot of gold. Uh, so that's what I want to check first, because that I'm, you know, I'm, I want to see what's gonna happen if you bring the whole crew there. And that is pretty close. It's the green door. Wow, you can kind of barely tell or there's a bridge there almost. Alright, so you do this. Yeah, that opens up. We go into movie mode. Uh, all the textures. Uh, yeah, like I said, I feel like you can barely tell that there is even a... Uh, a bridge because of the transparency, which I mean, they did on purpose. It's fine. Alright, so, hey! What does this change? Now that I'm not just bird. Rare chlorine down. I mean, this, this is the same. Like, this this is the same. But this time, it's happy with me shooting these. Great. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, that's a grenade egg. You can tell a lot better when you're, like, this close. Got it. Oh, I wonder if I missed the holes. Because now that I'm here, like, right in its face, I can see that there is a big hole. Oh, and I wonder if Kazooie's, like, just, like, regular firing height is just too low. Hey, we got golden eggs, though. In a wall of things. I love things. I like it when they're in walls. Uh, hey, Grunty. You're, okay, Fable Pot of Gold Shooting Challenge. A twin and ill-deserved prees. You must hit at least 75 jiggies. All right. Oh, there are two layers of prizes. We know what that means. Uh, Alright, so I remember this being a struggle as a ye little kid until I figured out the trick. You do it like that. You just spin. Spin along a row and, like, hit whatever you can that way. Don't try to aim. Aiming well is for suckers. Uh, just, you know, spray and pray, I would later uh, be aware, is an expression some people use in situations like these. Now, I feel like I did it wrong, like I did a bad job initially at it, so I'm probably gonna lose. But like, if- I, I always felt as a kid that if you try to carefully aim for each and every single little puzzle pieces, it just- it just does not work well enough. I don't know. Right, yeah, see, see, the issue is I start to move around, and you don't want to do that. Right, see, I did that on purpose to get her you missed try. Never mind the fact that we missed other you missed texts before. I can say whatever I want. Yes, I will feebly attempt. Alright, so don't move around, because like, there were like vast expanses of time where I was not shooting any walls at all. So you do that. Do it for the whole length, and then, then you move over to the next one. But yeah, like it didn't hit all of them, but I don't think you need to hit all of them. I don't know how many panels there are actually, but I feel like it's a lot easier to clean up once you've like you know just kind of done this. Cause see now I got I got standard prize. I mean 90, so now, like, yeah, like, you can just go ahead and clean up manually. Oh boy, uh, I'm probably gonna have to replay for the 91. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe not! There you go! You just spin around, and then you clean up the rest, and it goes fine. It's fine. Very effortless. Yeah, that's right! Both at once! We got ourselves a page, and we got ourselves a jiggy! Uh, what does, does that mean? It means I might have won all of her prizes, and I did. There's no might. No, there is no prize for hitting all 100. <laughs> sure. Like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing for getting 100. I'm pretty sure I've never done it. 
so I'm, I'm just basing myself on those spurious facts. Here we go. Hey, health. I could use some of that. Um, now what? If there's a flying pad here, I might, like, go for a flight and check things out in places. Because there are areas that you cannot, like, uh, go at it from one of the spokes. Like, you actually have to fly there. I know there was a hexagon here. I was hoping for a flight pad. Like, it's kind of hard to tell where one of these is gonna be. There's just, like, a big basin of water there. There's a flight pad there. And you see, like, that that's connected to nothing. There are no... Um... You know, like, little landing lobs. Uh, there are no doors. It's just, it's a place. Do you enjoy place? Do you like place as a concept? What even am I saying? Wait, they're getting health again. Where's this lead again? Whoa, I never went there because, uh... See, so there I go, going, where did this lead again? I've never been there. Uh, I never got the note. So, okay. That explains that. Let's check it out. Slowly and steadily. I don't know why I said that. Oh, that's probably that water then there. Okay. Well, is there anything inside of water? Oh! Uh, I forgot about you. Alright. Here we go! Kazooie Brand- Oh, there's the wrong button. It happens. It's this button to go fast. Yeah! Oh. Kazooie. You are so uncontrollable when you're a torpedo. It's pretty good. There we go! Oh, now we're gonna drain all the water, actually. Okay, no, yeah, I guess we're just doing that. Get out of here, water, and fall down upon the world somewhere. Yeah, the place is gonna get a whole lot of water now. I don't know where. I can't... Pterodactyland. Where? Where is... Did I go there? I don't know where that is. Okay, well, there's water at... Hey there! Okay. Yippee! <laughs> I don't know. Me, I did that. Where is that in Pterodactyl? I literally do not remember. Well, he's enjoying a soak. A soak of water is in the insides. Uh... Oh, you know his name, Dippy. Okay. Oh, we did say that? <laughs> There's a scene that happened behind the cameras. Uh, hell yeah! Puzzle-shaped teeth uh, that just gets transported to me. Is that a here coin or is that a pterodactylian? That was so weird. That's a pterodactylian, Jiggy. <laughs> hey guys, it's everyone's favorite character, Dippy! Yeah, Dippy! <laughs> We did it! Where was that? Well, never getting there up there again. Ever. Oh no, there's platforms. Immediately after I said that. Oh, and they're very uncomfortable too. Alright, but there's health. And it's orange textured. So it turns out this boat did have a way to get to it. That is not related to flight. I also lied. Uh, is it, does it count as lying if it's not on purpose? Uh, no. By definition, no. A lie needs to be on purpose, like, by by the definition. I tried to attack there, and the attack didn't attack. Pretty rude. Alright, so, let's fly around here and look for things. Like, for example... Let's just go more fast. We got this gelatin castle here. Yeah, up there, like, so we needed a, a vine, right? So obviously that's a banjo-only spot. But you, haunted gelatin castle, what up with you? I'm seeing a lot of eggs on top. I'm seeing a jiggy inside. 
Um, oh jeez, this is... this is... Yeah, I've never this before as much as now. Oh jeez, well I just fell, that's fine. Hello, Mr. Gelatin. Oh, oh, I, uh... I think I solved a puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, though. It's just... Hey, have you done this before? Well, now you get to do this again. No, maybe it's too high. You need to be here as Banjo only? How? Like, I think the puzzle is it. You expect to get in there, but like... Um, huh, as banjo only. Okay. Interesting. So there's a, there's a sproingy flower somewhere that just kind of shoves you out over there, all the way over there. I hope. <laughs> All right, let's go find and then climb a vine. Pretty sure there's one over here. No, yeah, it's the two uh, mumble doors. Also lead to uh, these little split up, like maneuver around puzzles. That's the sound you make, Banjo. Are you sure that's smart? Oh, camera. Help me out here, buddy. Did it! I made it here. All right, whoosh. Now I can go and make it up there. Well, that's right. On the backswing. Uh, there we go. Deadly as bear in all of this place. Yeah, this leads to the big, the big cake, the big cheese. Do you need to be? There's flight there if you're interested. The door is big enough for like everyone involved. Welcome to Cheese, where you get air. That's pretty good. I'm hearing help. There's eggs. What am I looking at here? How do you intersect with the world? Uh... Okay, you're all the way up there. What are these, like, floaty things? Like, I guess I can go up here, but that's of limited help. That has spikes on it. I'm trying to go into first person to get a better view. Okay, you need to be um, in this mode and jump on those... Are these like springs? Like, how would you get the height? Oh, it dips down here. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna go back out to refresh my air and gonna do that again. This is the cheese. It's the cheese. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, so you can see the shadow of that one. Eh. So hey, we're doing platforming. Okay. I don't know why it has to be while wearing this very, very uncomfortable movement ability, but... Okay, like how close do y'all get? Alright, that close. And then this is the... Well, yeah, okay, and I figured something like that was gonna happen. Uh, okay, nope. Gonna refresh my air. So who here is excited to hear just Banjo choke to death constantly? My favorite part is the frame rate. God damn it. Gotta do that thing I don't do, which is, uh, change the camera. 
time to time. Where do you go? Thing. Yes, there's a ginger. I can see it. There's also like a tiny hole there. Alright, what do you do? Are you there just to let me get here? Alright, sounds great. I hope I didn't miss anything. You're not a ninja, that's nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else here, but here is to check to make sure you got the other thing. Not sleeping. Uh, this button. There's a lot of buttons, and it's kind of arbitrary what does what. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Ooh, I wonder if you go into a loading zone to refresh your air. Yeah, check it out! Uh, this is the fancy part of the cheese. <laughs> the part that's red and transparent. Now we're back here. In the nose. Uh, check it out, it's squishy inside! What a wonderful adventure that was. Nope, wrong one. This one. We are not to give so many eggs here. I guess if you get here as Banjo and Kazooie, at least you can get the Jinja with a clockwork. Maybe you're supposed to do all this as a clockwork? No, if that was the case, they wouldn't like give this, you know, banjo only puzzle, right? Yeah, I got hurt. Do you go to uh, Squishy Castle? No, you lead. The oh, at the start of all this, that makes sense. Where do you lead? One over there. Let's find out. Great, good, awesome, fantastic. Like I'm not, sh I can't defend myself, you know, while I'm, uh, while I'm attacking like that. Oh, so it was just this one. And it leads, looks to be towards the castle, actually. If my mental map of the place is accurate. Yeah, alright, so there you go. I solved the puzzle of get here with move. It's a very intense puzzle that only a very select few. I just cannot ever remember what does what. Like, it's just... I don't know, there's no real logic. Hey, I did it. I... I did it! That's not even this place's move, is it? No, it is. No. That's from, um, the previous place, right? Alright, there's the red door, too, that's gonna have a banjo-only zone, and I think I want to do that, so let's do that. Whew, that was scary. Two places lead here. Wow. Oh. Ooh, I know, right, Banjo? It's pretty wild. Alright, so over here, we're gonna do a thing. If it goes well, it's gonna go well. If not, it's it won't. Man, I'm just full, full of wisdom. Yeah, you press B, you press attack, and you free yourself from the floatiest bug thing. Well, I don't know where I am in space before jumping off. It's pretty good. Hey, check it out! We're gonna be sacking! So I want to press this. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yeah, you're on a bag. I'm in a bag. That's right. Everyone's bag. Fancy a little race across this thorny course. Sure. It's the waiting boots race without any boots. Well, we both got boots for people with bags. There you go. Race for eyeballs. So there's a very scary, like, thin path over there. I don't, I don't know if I want to take that. I do not trust my ability to control Banjo. So instead I'm just going in front and then jumping. And, like, I'm kind of letting him push me, honestly. And there you go. Kind of free. 
Hey, I did it. Like, yeah, there's a little, a little shortcut, but like I, like I literally just said, I don't trust my ability to navigate that tiny little path. Uh, Event 3. I mean, we know what Event 3 is gonna be. Like, I mentioned how something looked like it had a racing line. You know what? Maybe I should just do that and be done with this mission. Maybe I should. Alright, this might be a longer episode then, depending on how editing happens. But you know what? It's fine. There's a garbage can over there. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we are returning where, um... Mumbo went at the very start of video, except this time we're going there with Kazooie on our own. Solo Kazooie adventure. Because we need to go fast, and Kazooie, I don't know if you've noticed, but she's pretty fast. Like, I think if you're Banjo and Kazooie, even with the speed shoes, it's not enough, and you need to be, like, the combined adventure here. I'm not sure, but, like, why take any chance? Oh, boy. <laughs> Immediately, I'm like, oh no. I hopefully won't hear the sound effect of my speed up, power up. Hey, hi. Yeah, check out, we got a giant clock. Uh, oh, I need them on, okay. Uh, that's the hope. Alright, I guess those are just very long lasting shoes. They even last through cuts and cuts. Man, the loading times are long. Two, one, here we go. So hold up, hold up. This is the hold up episode. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. If you're with Banjo, you don't go fast enough and he goes faster, but you know, I, I knew the code, I knew the trick. Don't have the weight of an entire bear making things a little bit heavier for you. And he's sad. Uh, to be fair, like, I did not cheat for, uh, two and three. I used a power-up for the first one, but he literally asked me to have running shoes on. Or at least it was implied, so, you know. Here we go! Man, we did things today. Uh, I'm going to reunite, and then what's gonna be on the menu tomorrow? Like, I feel like I did most of... I think I did every spoke. So I think we're gonna have to fly around, like, there's the trash can we haven't really played with. Let me look at the totals here. Like, the trash can is gonna have something. The transformation has... there. There's something there. Okay, I have a general idea, maybe. Maybe. I kinda have an idea. And you know what? There's the safe! I need to find two more. Yeah, that's right. I think there's still two things to find there. Huh, I wonder where those are. Where's a button? 